Today, Kevin and I are gonna be trying the four Moody Bars. Moody Bars are Aster Chocolate. We have reviewed a lot of Aster Chocolate on the channel. And I tell you where they usually sell a lot of Aster Chocolate is the airport. Mm -hmm. And they'll yeah. put like, they'll make like a Florida theme and they'll, each bar will be different. And um, we found Aster Chocolate in, in different places like that. But I think it's cool that they sell them in the airport like that. Uh, these two are out for Halloween. This is a, it's called Mystery, but it is uh, d uh, dark chocolate, double dark chocolate brownie. This one is called Wicked, and it is milk chocolate s'mores. And this one's Sleepy, and it is a dark chocolate lavender black currant, hmm. which is an interesting flavor for over here. Yeah. And Hangry, which is milk chocolate jalapeno pretzel. So these, the two that Kevin showed you were $1.99. The ones I have are $1.83 each at World Market. That's where you can find the Moody Bars, uh, if you're interested, is World Market. So, I wonder if it'll slide out. I don't Got think it. it will. Okay. It will be sliding those out and taking a bite and putting it back. <laughs> uh, yeah, probably. I do like it when candy bars slide out, but you don't get a lot to do that. Maybe they do if they're in a package, like if they're in a, a like you, you buy a six pack. Yeah. Maybe that's when they slide out. Not when they're sold in singles. So, this has a cute little black cat on it for Halloween and a spider and spider web. I like the, I like the package on it. Uh, it says, what mood fits you today? This is a uh, mystery black cat, moody bars, Esther chocolate. So um, this is the uh, double dark chocolate brownie and it says one bar, 50 grams is 260 calories. It tastes like it has little, or feels like it has little um, cookie bits in it. Mm -hmm. You know, at first I thought they were coffee beans, but they're not. They're more crunchy than that. They're not as uh, sharp as a coffee bean. It says chocolate cookies. Huh. That's um, that's a good chocolate, actually. It's um, it's not what you'd call like strong flavor coffee, but it. I mean coffee. Chocolate. <laughs> no, you're good. Uh, coffee, it's not a strong coffee. Uh, chocolate. <laughs> But it's um, it's got a nice flavor and it's not bitter or, or too dark, even though it's double dark or whatever they said. Yeah, double dark chocolate yeah, brownie. It's not that dark. It, it's not what I expected mm -hmm. because when I read the word brownie, I was thinking, I don't know why, because with a brownie you wouldn't have a filling, but I did think this would have some kind of a filling. Yeah, oh, like a chocolate fudge or something like yeah, that. Yeah, I did. I, and it, that wouldn't be the definition of brownie at all, but that's what I was thinking. But it, it uh, I really do like the cookie pieces. Mm -hmm. They do not taste like, if you're wondering, because of the color and everything, it does not taste like an Oreo cookie. Mm -hmm. no. It just tastes like a general chocolate cookie that's mm -hmm. been crumbled up. But I, that texture is absolutely terrific. Yeah, well, it goes really good with the chocolate. Because mm -hmm. the chocolate's a little snappy, but it's not bitter. Which no, is it's like not at all. I like that too. So that's... Uh, Definitely one you could get if you're in the mood for a darker chocolate. You yeah. still need to like dark, darker chocolate yeah. because... Yeah, it's not super sweet, creamy milk chocolate. Right, so now this one, this one is milk. And we could have had a s'mores from, from Aster Chocolate before. I don't know. Um, I'm, I don't know if it'll be different in a moody bar because that's a different part of Aster. I don't know. Uh, this is milk chocolate s'mores. And it is 300 calories. Compared to the dark chocolate, it's very soft. I love it. Mm -hmm. I get the ground cracker flavor. I get marshmallow. And a little bit of marshmallow. Mm -hmm. I get all three things. Now see, most of the flavor for me is graham and chocolate. Mm -hmm. I get, no, I get that marshmallow, marshmallow, to me, that marshmallow is it's so strong, yes. Yeah. And I'm getting Graham. Maybe I'm interpreting what as Graham and you're interpreting it as marshmallow. Just, Maybe. You know, it may be. But it could I be the same what, flavor. We're just interpreting it different in our brains. So many companies cannot get s'mores correct. Mm -hmm. You would think it would be really simple. It's clearly not because so many companies have messed up. This is delicious. Yeah. 
Yeah, it's really good. And well, it's a lot of try. Well, I'm trying to put like mini marshmallows in. It never mm -hmm. works because mini marshmallows don't have enough. They don't flavor have enough flavor. You really, really need a flavor. In. Yeah, yeah, some kind of flavor in the and it's got to be a good flavor. And this is this is good. It seems like we had an Aster chocolate that was um, s'mores. Yeah, or maybe um, it was a toasted marshmallow. And I'm thinking it was like I bragged on it. It seems like I got it at the airport, but you know what? Um, when you when I searched the channel for Moody Bars, only a couple of Moody Bars popped up, and this wasn't one of them. Right. This, I'm thinking this is the exact same as bar answer. as we've had before. Um, and I'm thinking they, they really knew what they were doing that mm -hmm. time, too. Yeah, the s'mores is good. And then I was impressed with it. Oh, and it's it just sweet too. has the witch on the front. Okay, so now we're on to bars that, I guess these are out all the time at World Market. I'll have to look from now on and try to be aware of, of the Moody Bars. Um, this one's called Sleepy, I guess because it has lavender. You know, um, if you've ever heard, if you want to get a better night's sleep, you're supposed to like spray lavender on your pillow. Oh, really? We had a neighbor that did that. I would not want that. I wouldn't either. I don't want to smell stuff while I'm sleeping. I don't or either. Going to sleep. I don't either. <laughs> but people do. Our daughter does. And she likes to. She Maybe likes if it has an infuser stuff. in the room, mm -hmm. like a wax melt candle or something, I might like that, but not um, on my pillow. Lavender black currant, 270 calories. Yeah, and they even make pillows with that infused in them. Hmm. Not for me. Don't you remember that the neighbor used to have one she would put in the microwave? Hmm. She'd get it warm. Hmm. Well, if it has lavender in it, I can't taste it. So far, all I'm getting is dark chocolate. Dark chocolate. It's, and I get a little sharpness from something that could be black currant, mm -hmm. but who knows? I mean, it really could just be the dark chocolate. I mean... No, I got the black currant, but no lavender. Yeah, that one's a darker chocolate than this other one. I think it is, too. Even looks darker. Or at least the cookies cut it in that one. Yeah, one way or the other, because that one seems even more bitter, even. You do get black currant. Because it is a, you're, you're tasting the dark chocolate the whole time. But then at the end, there's a sharpness. Mm -hmm. That's the black pearl. Yeah. But you're not getting any lavender. No, I actually go ahead. I am too, because <laughs> I don't want lavender, rose. I don't, please don't Floral. put flowers in yeah. my food. I don't like the flavor of that. Um, he has a sleep mask on. He's sleepy. Um, oh, or she, it, could, it could be a girl. You can't tell. Oh, you got it a mouth or a nose. I, I know you can't tell. It could definitely be a girl. Um, I don't know why. It's a he to me. <laughs> um, but um, I, I personally wouldn't get that again because no. it's 98% dark chocolate. Bitter dark chocolate. Now, if you like dark chocolate and you want that little sharpness of the flat current, then go for it. Now, do you think that would be a man or That's a just an emoji. It's, a, it's a nondescript. It, it's nondescript. You don't know. Hangry. This is actually me. Hangry. I get, I, I get hangry. Some people don't. Kevin doesn't get hangry. I get hangry. I get hungry. I don't just get angry about it. <laughs> I can I can literally get in a bad mood. If it's time to eat and I can't eat, I want to eat. Um, this is milk chocolate jalapeno pretzel. Uh, 260 calories. And it's in milk chocolate. I've said that. I like the chocolate. I like the crunch of the pretzel. And you get the salt, which I really love. You don't taste jalapeno, but you get the burn of the jalapeno. Could you go minute? Yeah, it takes a little bit to get kind of developed slowly. And jalapenos don't usually aren't usually hot for you really. No. This one's a hot one. This is a hot one, but I like it. Well, when we, it's so funny because years ago, when they first started coming out with this um, heat and chocolate, it was like, no, this is disgusting. You can go back and watch the reviews. I don't like it, whatever. And I still prefer my chocolate to just be sweet yeah. without any heat. But I actually like it and I feel like it works. It doesn't taste like jalapeno. It feels like no. they just put heat they in it. They just put the heat in there. Um, but, but you do get the pretzel and the saltiness from it. I love the, the, the crunch of the pretzels reminds me of the crunch in the cookies in the first Except one. Except it's more 
softer crunch. Yes, yeah. I absolutely love the texture. Um, yeah, it's good. And, and some of the pretzel bars we've had, they're, they're kind of a stale pretzel-y, kind of mm -hmm. almost chewy. Mm -hmm. These aren't like that. These are a nice, crispy, little bitty pieces. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the, the texture is the best. Mm -hmm. um, probably out of all four of these, That's my favorite. this is the best texture. Yeah, I don't like the jalapeno. I wish it had just been a pretzel because I could live without the heat because for me, it's really, really, really hot. Mm -hmm. um, so I could live without the heat, but I like everything else about it. My favorite one is the s'mores, the witch. Um, probably mine too. Um, That's the one I would go back to. Yeah, and that I one, actually would pick the jalapeno one if it didn't have jalapeno. You know, um, that <laughs> it one, just had the pretzel in it. I would have 100% pick that because I love the saltiness of it. Mm -hmm. but, but it's got the jalapeno, so it ruins it for me. Out of out of all of these, it's going to be my second choice. Yeah. But it's the only other one in milk chocolate too, and I'm gonna. Um, and then my third would be the cat. Yeah, I mean, I guess I would do the same order, but I really wouldn't buy any of the rest of them because of the flavor. Just stuff. the witch. Yeah. I'm telling you, if you really want a great s'mores. Mm, it's really good. They they do a good job. They really do. Because they, they get all three flavors, um, three distinct flavors of s'mores in that bar. Yeah. And I think it's delicious. This would be if you have grandkids or nieces or nephews or just a special neighbor friend that for Halloween, it would be cool to get these special candy bars and give uh, mm. them to those kids. You know, give all the other kids and you know regular stuff. But but these are nice. These are a little bit more expensive than a Hershey bar. Yeah, we and, always bought the grandkids like full size candy. Yeah, bars. Yeah, they get full size candy bars where the neighbors just get the fun size. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the the They're grandkids. Amazing. Yeah, the grandkids are gonna get a full size bar. And nor uh, a lot of times I've gone uh, gotten them one of those like teeny beanies and given that to them, uh, or gone to Hallmark and got the itty bitty and given that to them with a candy bar. Just something a little special. Special for for Halloween uh, but I hope you enjoyed the video um, I'll have a picture for you at the end and thanks for watching